Welcome to Happy Mount Pilates. Let's go ahead and get started. So in a comfortable cross-legged seated position, let's just go ahead and take a big breath in through the nose, sweep those arms out wide, up and high. And exhale. And one more time, big breath in. And exhale, your arms down by your side. Bring that right hand to the outside of that right thigh. Breathe in as you sweep your left arm up and over, feeling a stretch. Breathe in as you come back up. Exhale that right arm up and over. Really reach and extend that arm. Breathe in as you come back up. Place both hands on each knee. And go ahead and do a big belly roll. Warming up that spine. Relax your shoulders and reverse the rotation. And go ahead and come back to a neutral back. Bring your legs out in front of you, feet or legs about hip distance apart. Sit up as straight as you can. Place your hands underneath your thighs. Take a breath in as you push that chest forward, lift up your chin, and then exhale, curve your back, lean back, Anchor your heels. We'll do that a few more times. Still a little bit of a warm up here. Breathe in and exhale. And last time, breathing in and exhale. This time, go ahead, come up, release those hands. We're going to bring them forward. Exhale, reach those fingers away from you. Lean back and hold for three, two, one. Let's do that again. Ready? Breathe in as you come up. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in as you come back up. Exhale, lean back. This time, draw that right arm to the outside of your right ear, left arm to your left ear. Reach and extend those fingers up. Keep those heels anchored. And let's hold for five, four, three, two, one. Right arm forward, left arm forward. Reach as you come back up. This time we're gonna breathe in, exhale, lean back, sweep that right arm back behind you, breathe in as you come back up. And we'll do the same on the opposite side. Keep going, shifting from right to left. Engaging those abs. Let's do two more on each side. Exhale, lean back. And go ahead, last one on each side. Nice job, breathe in as you come back up. Bring your hands down by your side. Go ahead, extend the right leg, extend the left leg. Bring those arms forward again, breathe in, exhale, lean back. Bring the right arm up, left arm up, reach and extend those fingertips high once again. Lift the rib cage up, up off of your belly, hold for three. Two, one, bring both arms forward, take a breath, and as you come forward, flex those feet, forward fold. Hollow out that belly, maybe reach, grab your toes, place your hands on either side of your shins or grab your ankles, whatever feels right for you. Just take a moment here. Reach and extend, breathe in as you come back up. This time we're gonna go exhale, roll all the way down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Place your hands on either side if you need. Use those abs though, so lower yourself all the way down. When you get there, extend those arms back behind you, thumbs towards the ground. Flex those feet, give yourself a nice big long stretch here. Maybe wiggle those toes a few times if you need. Take another breath in on your exhale, sweep those arms up. And we'll love you, those abs to lift your Torso up, breathing in, exhale once again, forward fold. Let's do that two more times, ready, breathe in, come up. Exhale, roll back down. Take another breath in, exhale, roll up. Exhale, forward fold. And last time, go ahead and breathe in as you come up. Exhale, roll all the way down. This time, go ahead and stay back down. And we're going to win those arms, windmill them back by our side. Back on the mat here, bend your knees, draw those heels in to about where your fingertips can touch. And then roll those shoulders up and back. Take a breath in your exhale, go ahead and roll up one vertebra at a time. Lift those hips up. Keep those knees in line with your hips. Squeeze your glutes. 
Take a moment here. And then go ahead and come all the way back down. Tailbone touches ground. Take another breath in. And then go ahead and roll right back up. Keep those hips up this time and little booty pulses. Squeeze those glutes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You got this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We're just going to go down and up with those hips. Now we will use those glutes to manage and control this movement. Lowering the hips down. Squeeze to bring those up. Back up. Squeeze your inner thighs. Keep going. You've got five more of these. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Now go ahead and keep those hips all the way up. Anchor that left heel. And then just draw that right knee up toward your right side and lower. Go tap down. Keep going up and down. Keep those hips square. Both the points are going to point feet straight up. We have three, two, and last one. One. Good job. Now we're going to go ahead and extend that leg straight up. Flex and point that foot a few times here. And then we're going to flex that foot, lower that heel straight down. Point your toes, draw that leg straight up, and let's do five more of these. Keep going, guys. Two more. Last one. And bring that leg right back up this time. Come up on those left toes. And then we're just going to lift down and up. Down and up. Keep going. We have five, four, three, two, and last one. One. Good job. Now go ahead and draw those right toes up as high as you can. And we're just going to do little blue deep pulses here. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down on that left heel. Bend your right knee and lower that right foot. Good job. Okay, anchor that right heel. We're gonna lift and lower the left leg now. Keep the left knee bent. Squeeze to draw that left knee in. Let's do five more. Four. Three. Two. And last one, one. Good job. Bring that leg straight up now. Flex and point that foot a few times. And then we're going to flex that foot as we lower that leg straight down. Point your toes and draw that leg right back up. Five more of these. Five. Four. Three. Two. And last one. One. Bring that leg right back up. Now come up on those right toes. And we're going to lower our, lift our hips. Keep going, guys. You got this. Let's do five, four, four, three, two, and last one. One. Now lift those hips up. And little booty pulses. Just barely lifting and lowering that left leg. We have five, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and lower that. You're on both heels or both toes now. Squeeze your glutes, and we're gonna butterfly those knees open and then bring them back so they're aligned with your hips. Ready? So open, close, open, close. So squeeze your glutes as you do this. We got eight more of these. We have eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and last one. One, good job. Bring those knees in line with your hips. Lower the right heel, lower the left heel. Roll down one vertebrae at a time, and that tailbone touches ground. Bring your right knee in, bring the left knee in. Wrap your arms around those legs. Give them a nice big hug and rock from side to side. Great job. We're arm on our way. Okay, so bring those arms back down by your side. Bring those legs up into a tabletop position now. And let's go ahead and do a few 100s. So take a breath in. And on your exhale, we're going to lift up just off of those 
shoulder blades here. How about those hands on the ground? And then go ahead and pump your arms up and down. So you want to breathe in for a count of five and exhale for a count of five. So it's five, four, three, two, one. And then exhale, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep going. Make sure that head is not flying back. So you want to keep your gaze just below your knees here. Now you can challenge yourself. You can stay here, challenging enough. Or you want to challenge yourself even more. Go ahead and straighten those legs straight up. And maybe lower them down. Keep that tailbone anchored. Make sure you keep a lift up, lift up off of those shoulder blades. And keep lowering those legs down just enough where you can still maintain um, the pressure on your back. Your back starts to lift up. Anchor that tailbone or lift your legs up a little bit. Keep going, guys. Almost done. Keep going. Pump, 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 pump. Keep going. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, good job. Bring those knees in again and rock from side to side. Oof. That should feel pretty good. Let's give our tummy a stretch though. So we're going to take our, lower those legs straight down. Bring your elbows up. Bring those hands underneath your shoulders. Point those toes. And when you're ready, go ahead and lift up. And roll those shoulders up and back. Extend or push that chest up. And we're going to hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bend your elbows and lower yourself all the way back down. Good job. And then go ahead and come all the way back down once again. Let's do some single leg stretches. You're going to take that right knee up now. Cover that left leg and then go ahead and lift up. Place one hand on the top and lower part of that shin. And then go ahead and squeeze that right knee into your right side. And then we're going to shift over to the left side. Ready? So we're going to go from right to left and right to left. Try it again. Keep off of those shoulder blades. Lifting up. Keep that gaze forward. Keep going, guys. We have eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and last one. One, now we're gonna do a double leg stretch. So bring that left knee in. And then push those legs away as you sweep those arms back and then sweep them all around the side and draw it back in again, ready? So out, whew, and then bring it back in. Let's do five more of these. We've got this. We have five, four, three, two, and last one, one, and bring it all the way back in. Nice job. Tee out your arms. Bring those legs into a tabletop. Take a breath in. On your exhale, lower those knees over to the right side. Head up above or in the opposite direction. Hover, hold for three, two, one. Breathe in, draw those legs back up. Exhale them over to the opposite side. Hover and hold for three, two, one. And let's do that one more time. Use your abs to lift those legs back up and over. Hover and hold, three, two, one, bring them back up. And last time over to the opposite side. And hover and hold for three, two, one, bring them back up. And then go ahead and extend those legs away from you. Bring your arms by your side. Take a breath in. Bring those arms up. Exhale, tuck that chin under and use your abs. You're going to roll up one vertebrae at a time. All the way up, big breath in again. Exhale, fold, fold. And then come all the way back up. Okay. Place your hand just on either side of your hips now. Go ahead and bend your left knee. Roll those shoulders up and back. Sit up as straight as you can. And if it's hard for you, if your back is rounded up, you can go ahead and lean back just so that you want to make sure you have a pretty straight spine here. 
And then we're gonna take that right leg, lift it up and externally rotate. So you're turning it off to the side here. And then using our lower abs, we're gonna lift and lower that leg. We have five, four, three, two, and last one, one, good job. Now keep that leg elevated, sweep it out to the side and back for five, four, three, two, and last one, one. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna sweep it up, down, to the side, and back. Keep going up, down, to the side, and back. Three more, up, down, to the side, and back. Two up, down, to the side, and back, and up, down, to the side, and back. Draw that knee in, give it a nice big hug. And maybe straighten and flex the knee just a few times. Nice little stretch. And lower that right leg down. Let's do the opposite leg. Ready? Extend that left leg. Externally rotate it. Keep that chest lifted up high. And we're just going to lift and lower. We have five, four, three, two. And last one, one. Good job. Keep that leg elevated. Scoop it out to the side. And back. We have five. Four, three, two, and last one, one. Good job. Now we're gonna go lift, lower to the side, and back. Four more, lift, lower to the side, and back. Three, lift, lower to the side, and back. Two, lift, lower to the side, and back. And last one, lift, lower to the side, and back. Let's go ahead and give that knee a nice big hug. And then you're gonna straighten and flex that leg a few times. Doing great. Okay, place the soles of your feet together, butterfly those knees out. Take a breath in, exhale forward, fold a little bit, and feel a nice hip opener here. Relax the shoulders. And you can place the toes together and open up the inside of your feet here, like you're opening up a book. Keep in the stretch. Well done. All right, good job. So let's go ahead and bring those knees together. Hands forward, exhale all the way back down. And we're gonna, once you get down there, turn on over to your side. So I'm on my right side. And come all the way down. You could rest your head on your hand or if you want to, on the lowered arm there. Lower or bend that lower knee and then make sure that your hips are stacked here. We're just gonna lift and lower now that top leg. I'm gonna think about using your thigh muscles to lift and lower that leg. Keep going. We have five, four, three, two, and last one. One, now we're gonna lift that leg up. We're gonna bring it forward, and we're gonna to toe tap down, up and back behind, and toe tap down and up. So keep going forward, toe tap down, up, back, toe tap down and up. Now don't go too fast that you lose your balance. So just go at a pace that works for you. Keep going. Let's do two more sets here. Then we'll do one more. Nice job. And then go ahead and lower that leg down. All right, we're gonna straighten our legs now. Think about using your top obliques. You can place your hands on your hips here, see what's going on there, or place it in front for a little bit more stability. Squeeze your oblique, and we're gonna lift and lower those legs. You're gonna feel it right here on the top. We have five, four, three, two, and last one, one. Now draw those legs up as tall as you can, or as high as you can, little pulses here for five, four, three, two, and one. Now keep both legs elevated, but lift the top one up even higher. We're just gonna lift and lower that bottom leg. So squeeze the inner thigh of that lower leg. Lifting and lowering. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now keep those legs elevated, point your toes. We're gonna scissor back and forth. Also go slow and control here. So we have five, four, three, two, and one more one, and then lower those legs back down. Bring your knees forward into an L shape. That 
top one's gonna stay right on top of that lower one, knee, knee on top of knee, and lift and lower. Five, four, three, two, and last one, one, good job. Lower back down, now anchor your heels. We're gonna lift up those heels, and we're just gonna lift and lower that top knee. Five, four, three, two, and last one, one, good job. Go ahead and lower your feet down. And now we're just gonna go knee to knee and heel to heel. Knee to knee and heel to heel. So we have five, four, three, two, and last one, one, good job. Now keep that knee elevated. Straighten that leg, flex the foot, and we're gonna lift and lower. So you should be probably feeling it by now, right on that top hip. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Now this is the last set, hold it up, and we're just gonna pulse here. You got this last set here, we're gonna go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then go ahead and bend and lower down. Maybe grab your ankle and just pull that foot back into a modified runner stretch. A little tap on the hip for a muscle release and then make your way to the opposite side. And let's do all that same thing on the other side. So come on down, I'm on my left side now. Open in that lower leg, stack those hips. Everybody ready? Let's do it. Let's lift and lower that top leg. Squeeze now that right thigh, right glute, and we have five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, now bring that leg up, draw it forward, toe tap down in front, lift, and bring it back behind, toe tap back behind, lift, and repeat. Keep going, we'll do five sets of these. Three more, you got this. Two more. And last one. Nice job. Okay, so go ahead and bring those legs together. Now we're gonna squeeze our top obliques. We'll lift and lower those legs straight up, straight down. We have five. Four, three, two, and one. Now lift up as high as you can. Little pulses here for five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Keep those legs elevated. Bring that right leg up high enough that you can lift and lower that bottom leg. Squeeze the inner thigh of that lower leg. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two. And last one, one, good job. Now keep those legs elevated, point those toes, lengthen those legs, and we will scissor here. Five, four, three, two, and last one, one, lower those legs down, bend those knees, draw them forward. Ready? Lift and lower that top leg. So only the top leg is moving right now. We have five, four, three, two, and last one, one. Good job, lower those legs. Bring your heels together and lift those feet up and we're gonna open and close that top knee for five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, lower those legs back down and we're gonna go knee to knee and heel to heel. Keep going. Really try to do that rotation. You're gonna feel that hip joint. We have five, four, three, two, and last one, one. Nice job. Okay, bring that knee back up now. Straighten that leg and we're gonna lift up and down, up and down. We have five, four, three, two, and last one, one. Go ahead and keep that up, ready? Little pulses here, last set, you got this. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Runner, stretch that leg. And maybe a little bit of booty pat here. And when you're ready, go ahead and roll on over to your belly. Those legs are about hip distance apart. Place your hands underneath your shoulders, nose down to the mat, top of the feet on the ground. Let's go ahead and take a breath in as we do. We're gonna lift up our chest, keep those wings in by your side. Lift up, and then exhale back down. We'll do that again. Ready, breathe in, and lift up. And come back down. Okay, let's add on to this. So we're just now we're gonna go ahead and lift up. Elevate those hands, bring them out to a goal post position, and then lift up a little bit higher. Keep your gaze down on the mat, anchor those hips, and we'll hold for five, four, three, two, one, and go ahead and come all the way back down. Let's do that again. Ready? Breathe in and lift now. Keep those arms out to your side. Squeeze your glutes. We're just gonna do little pulses here. Little pulses for five, four, three, two, one, and come back down. Good job. You can bring your arms in front of you. Relax your top half because we're going to work on the bottom half. Take a moment here now. Squeeze your right glute, lift your right leg up and down, and then squeeze your left glute. Point those toes, lift your left leg up and down. Let's keep going. We're just going to shift from right to left. Think about using your glutes to lift and lower that leg. Think about as if you had. Strings anchored to the back of each side. Hamstring there, and someone is pulling them up and down. Two more times here. Last time on each side. This time go ahead and lift your right leg up. Squeeze your left glute to lift the left leg up. And then rotate your feet so your heels are pointed in towards each other. And then squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your glutes to draw those heels together and open those legs up back up into a V. So it's all right if your legs don't come all the way together or your heels don't touch. Just do what you can. Keep going, really squeeze. You're going to feel this in your lower back muscles. You're going to feel this in your glutes. Primarily, we'll do five more of these. Ready? Five, four, three, two, and last one. One and lower back down. Okay, so let's put it together. Bring your arms forward. Those legs are still about hip distance apart. You could open your legs up a little bit wider if you prefer. Take the breath in and out. And on your next inhalation, let's lift up your right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, and then go ahead and swim those arms and legs. Try to lift up off that rib cage as much as you possibly can. Keep going, guys. Swim, swim, swim. We're just going to do this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and come back down. Place your hands under your shoulders. Breathe in as you lift up. Exhale, push back into a child's pose. Nice little well earned stretch. If you have any cramping in your toes, your feet, you can always come up on those toes. Sometimes that helps. Hopefully you don't. So breath in. And on your next inhalation, let's go ahead and come forward to a box position. Draw those knees underneath your hips. Tuck those toes under. And go ahead and lift your hips up. And bring them up and back. Make your way into a downward dog, maybe. You could keep your knees bent. Maybe paddle out your feet a few times. Try to draw that tailbone up as high as you can. A few more times. Good job. Okay, go ahead and lift up both heels now. Bend your knees and push that tailbone straight back. And then lift the hips up. Straighten your legs and lower your heels. Two more times. Ready? Heels up. Bend your knees. Push that tailbone straight back. Straight your legs and lower your heels. One more time, heels up, knees bent, push back. Straighten your legs and lower your heels. And then just hang out in the downward dog position for a moment. And from here, we're gonna straighten that right leg and lift that right leg straight up. Take a breath. 
breath in on your exhale, draw that right knee to the outside of your right elbow. Hover and hold for three, two, one. Push that leg back and up. Draw that knee in between your arms. Hover and hold for three, two, one. Bring that leg back and up. And then we're gonna take that right knee to the outside of our left elbow. Twist to the left side, hover and hold for three, two, one. Bring that leg back into a downward dog. Let's do the opposite, ready? Put that left leg straight up. Draw that left knee to the outside of your left elbow. Hover and hold for three, two, one. Push that leg back and up. Draw that knee in between your arms. Hover and hold for three, two, one. Push that leg back and up. And draw that knee to the outside of your right elbow. Hover and hold for three, two, one. And bring that leg back into a downward dog. We're gonna come forward into a straight arm plank and come down on your forearms. Equal weight on those forearms and those toes. Use your abs, use your abs, guys. Make sure that that back doesn't relax. Keep it tight, tight core. And then we're just gonna rock forward and back on those toes. For five, four, three, two, and one. Now stay in this plank position. You can always come down on your knees at any time. Otherwise, we're gonna do some hip dips from side to side. Shifting from side to side. So you're really pivoting off those toes. Keep going, let's do five more sets. So here's our first one. This is five, four, three, two, and last one, one. Back to the center, and let's hang out here. Come on, hold on, you got this. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's lower those knees, open them out wide. And guess what, push back into a well-deserved child pose. Let's take a moment here, relax your shoulders. Maybe you walk those hands over to the right side. Shift your hips in the opposite direction. And then walk them over to the left side. Bring them back to the middle. And we're gonna make our way into a tabletop position. So those knees are underneath your thighs, hands underneath your shoulders. Let's do a couple cat cows, ready? So breathe in, lower that belly button, hips up, chin up. Exhale, arch your back. One more time, breathe in. Exhale. And then bring it back to the center. Okay, so we're gonna take that right leg straight back now. Let's go ahead and lift and lower that right leg just a few times. Should be pretty warmed up by now. Let's go for three, two, and last one, one good job. Okay, now we're gonna bend the knee, point your toes, and then cross it over to the opposite side. You're gonna just kinda knee cross, and then bring it back up, and then knee tap down. So we're gonna go up, cross, up, and down. Let's do five more of these. Up, cross, up, and down. Four, up, cross, up, and down. Three, up, cross, up, and down. Two, up, cross, up, and down. Last one, up, cross, up, and down. Okay, we're gonna do the same side. This time, let's come down on that left elbow, and you can bring that right hand in front, and we're gonna lift and lower that right leg up and down. We have four, three, two, and one. Now draw that knee up, and then go ahead and straighten that leg, bend the knee, and lower back down. So we go ready? Lift up, straighten, bend, and now we have four more of these. So up, straighten, bend, and down. Three up, straighten, bend, and down. Up, straighten, bend, and down. One more. Up, straighten, bend, and 
down. This time we're gonna go ahead and lift that leg up, straight, and keep it straight, and you're just gonna go tap up and down. We have five, four, three, two, and last one, one. Bend your knee and lower it down. Good job. All right, so let's come back up into that tabletop position. We'll do the opposite leg. Go ahead and straighten that back leg. Keep your core strong. Squeeze the left glute, lift and lower that left leg. And lift and lower for five, four, three, two, and last one, one. Good job, now bend that knee. A little cramp in my foot here, so don't mind me. We're gonna cross that knee over, up and down. So ready? Lift, cross, up and down. Four more, lift, cross, up and down. Lift, cross, up and down. We have two more, lift, cross, up and down. Last one, lift, cross, up and down, good job. Okay, now we're gonna come on that right elbow. And this nice little cage with that left arm. And then on the opposite side, we're gonna lift and lower that left leg. Lifting and lowering to the side here. Keep going, we have three, two, and last one, one. I'm gonna turn myself over so you can see what I'm doing and I have enough room so my leg is not hitting that wall. Just stay where you're at, okay? This time we're gonna go ahead and lift that leg up now. Straighten, bend, and down. Keep going, ready? Lift, straighten, bend, and down. Three more, lift, straighten, bend, and down. Lift, straighten, bend, and down. One more, lift, straighten, bend, and down. Let's go ahead now and lift that leg up, straighten that leg. Now we're just gonna go toe tap straight up and then really squeeze that left hip. Be five, four, three, two, and last one, one, nice job. Bend that knee and then go ahead and push back once again into a child's pose. We are nearing the end, so hang on, you're almost done. All right, so let's go ahead and come up on our knees. This is where you might want to add a little extra cushion if you need on those knees. Okay, tops of your feet are on the ground, bring your arms by your side, head forward, lift those or roll those shoulders up and back, tighten those abs, lift that chest, bring your arms forward, squeeze your glutes, and then go ahead and lean back. Be mindful of the knees. This doesn't work for your knees, adjust as you need to. So that's why I want you to go a little bit slowly to start. Just gonna feel, this feels like you're engaging your muscles, but it doesn't hurt, then you're right where you want to be. We'll hold here for three, two, one, breathe in as you come back forward, arms down by your side. Okay, so let's add on to that. If you can, already arms up. Big breath in, exhale, lean back. Stay here, you bring your right arm and your left arm up by your ears, lift up. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your inner thighs together, and we'll hang here for five, four, three, two, one. Bring your arms forward, and then we're gonna come all the way back up. Let's keep going, ready? Take a breath in, exhale, lean back. This time we're gonna sweep that right arm back, and then bring it all the way back forward, and we'll do the same the opposite side. Keep those hip points. Jetting forward as you lean back, sweep the arms back and forward. Keep going, you got this. Slow, not too fast with this one. All right, let's do three more sets of these. Two more. And last one. Nice job, and come all the way forward, bring your hands down by your side. Go ahead and open those knees out wide, push that knee straight back. 
and push back into a child's pose. Just take a moment here. And then let's come right back up out of that child's pose. We're gonna come back up on our knees, step that right foot forward. Tuck your left heels under. Your left toes under, sorry about that. And then go ahead and lift up. Into a lunge position. So make sure that tailbone is tucked under, roll your hips up and back. Lift that chest up and have a nice straight spine here. Bring your hands forward, anchor that right heel. We're just gonna go lifting and lowering for five, four, three, two, and last one, one. Now come about halfway down, lift up that right heel. We're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Lower that heel. We're gonna bring our arms by either side. Now we're gonna lower down, we're gonna twist over to the right side and then back up again. All right, let's keep going, twisting. And back up again, maybe that lower left knee actually touches all the way down. Doesn't have to. Three more here. <laughs> and we have two. Oh, keep your balance. And last one. And up, bring your arms by your side. Go ahead and lower that left knee, top of the left foot comes in the ground. Breathe in and extend or push that right knee forward. And on your exhale, shift those hips straight back, frame that right leg. Pull that navel in. Maybe lift those right toes up and deepen the stretch. And release. All right, let's do the opposite side. Everybody ready? And go ahead and lift up. Find that position. Remember, tuck that tailbone under, lift the chest up and back, engage those abs, bring your hands forward. We're just gonna go down and up. We have five, four, three, two, and last one. One, come up about halfway. Lift that left heel and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Lower that heel, bring your arms out to the side. And now we're gonna dip down as we twist over to that opposite left side and come back up. All right, let's do five here. We have five. And four. And three. And two. And ready, one more, one. Nice job. Back to the center, arms down. Let's come all the way down on that right knee. Breathe in, push that left knee forward, feeling the stretch on your right side. Exhale, straighten that left leg, forward fold, hips straight back. Maybe lift up those left toes. And then release. Okay, I have one last thing for you, and then we're done. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make our way into a straight arm. Plank. Now you can just hold this, or you can take the right knee forward and step back, left knee forward and step back, and again, and again. And if you want to make it a little more challenging, guess what? We're going to do some mountain climbers. So you could not lift those toes up too much, or you can put a little bit of a bounce in it. Either way, this is our last set. So let's go ahead, guys. Whatever you want to do, we're going to do this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and last one, 1. Lower those knees. Guess what? Make your way to just where we started. Seated in a cross-legged position. Oh, nice work, guys. All right, take those hands, one on each knee. Let's just catch your breath and a little few more belly rolls here and reverse the rotation and then take a big breath in sweep those arms out up and high exhale one last time ready for a good breath in and on your exhale draw the palms of your hands together slowly lower them down Draw your thumbs to your heart center, tuck your chin under, give yourself a nice big bow because you did it. 